What is up, my dudes, my dudettes, and wrestling colleagues of all kinds? Dan the Beast 94 here, coming back at you with my 2003 WWE pay per view collection review. Finally got this complete. Finally completed this about a couple weeks back. Took me a while to make this video, but here it is. And something that I did like about this year, this was the year where when you did complete the 2003 uh, collection, you would get this spinal art. And obviously it would make a big 2003 year, with the exception of this DVD. Bullshit. And uh, when you were buying these DVDs at the time, um, inside the DVDs they had like these little pamphlets. And you would sign these pamphlets. Um, and once you turned all of those in... Um, from each DVD, you would send this through the mail, and I guess WWE Shop or WWE would send you a box set, or a box to put all these DVDs in. Um, very nice, uh, very nice display to have on your shelves. Um, I know a couple of people here on YouTube, uh, that have that box. Uh, very rare to come by nowadays, very pricey. But, anyway guys, let's get started here. So, we start off the year off. With the 2003 Royal Rumble. I like this cover. Um, nice artwork on the bottom here. Go through the back. Kind of gives you the spoilers here for every participant in the Royal Rumble. Um, luckily it doesn't tell you what number they drew. So We had the WWE Championship match. Awesome match between Kurt Angle and Chris Benoit. Unlike this match, uh, Triple H versus Scott Steiner for the World Heavyweight Championship. We had the first ever stepdaughter versus stepmother match, Tori Wilson versus Dawn Marie. We had the world tag team titles on the line. And then we had Brock Lesnar versus Big Show, and the winner would advance to the Royal Rumble match. Um, obviously, we would know who would win this year's Royal Rumble as we get on to uh, the WrestleMania pay-per-view. And we open this up. Uh, very nice artwork. This is the only DVD that I have the insert for. So, not so bad. Uh, next pay-per-view we have here is No Way Out. Oops. No Way Out 2003. This was the rematch between Rock and Hulk Hogan 2. We had the return of the Rattlesnake, Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Eric Bischoff. And then we had the rematch between Triple H and Scott Steiner. Yikes. And this was the back. We also had Undertaker versus Big Show. We had, well... What was supposed to be a six-man tag. Uh, Brock Lesnar, Chris Benoit, and Edge versus Kurt Angle, Shelton Benjamin, and Charlie Haas. That would soon turn into a handicap match as uh, Edge ended up taking some time off due to a neck injury. We have Billy Kidman versus Matt Hardy for the Cruiserweight title. Uh, another world tag team title match here. And then we had Chris Jericho versus Jeff Hardy for the opening match. And this comes with extras and post-match interviews. Oh, and then we uh, look at the artwork here, which I have to undo these fucking flaps. And that's the artwork with Scott Steiner. Next one here. Um, very favorable WrestleMania by a lot of people. Um, definitely one of my favorites, but it's not on my top. Uh, WrestleMania 19, March 30th, 2003. We had the epic stare down between Hulk Hogan and Vince McMahon. We had the WWE Championship between Kurt Angle and Brock Lesnar. Uh, the final Stone Cold versus Rock match at WrestleMania. This was the third WrestleMania match that they had and Stone Cold's last match. Uh, Shawn Michaels versus Chris Jericho. Um, street fight, 20 years in the making. Hulk Hogan, Mr. McMahon, World Heavyweight Championship, Triple H versus Booker T. I kind of wish Booker T would have went over in this WrestleMania. We had a triple threat WWE tag team match. A uh, triple threat women's championship match. Uh, Undertaker uh, versus Big Show and A-Train. Um, it was supposed to be Nathan Jones, but they pulled the card on him the last minute. And then we had a Cruiserweight championship match. And then two hours of DVDs extras. And this is a two to set, so... Same artwork as the DVD cover. Next one we have here is Backlash 2003. This would be the pay-per-view debut of Bill Goldberg as he would take on The Rock. Uh, 
I wish this match would have been better, but I am not favorable of Goldberg matches. Let's just put it that way. Um, we had a WWE Championship match between Brock Lesnar and John Cena. Six-man tag match, Kevin Nash, Shawn Michaels, and Booker T taking on Triple H, Chris Jericho, and Ric Flair. We had Team Angle versus Los Guerreros. Uh, another World Tag Team Championship match, uh, Robbie and Damian Kane were champions for a little long time here. Women's Championship match, Trish Stratus, Jazz. Um, I always found Jazz very underrated. Um, and the fact that she's retiring, or she retired this year, um, definitely deserves a spot in any Hall of Fame, in my opinion. Uh, and then we had Rikishi versus Sean O'Hare, and Rey Mysterio versus Big Show. This was the infamous moment of Big Show, um, having Rey Mysterio strapped to the stretcher, and then basically just throwing him against the turnbuckle post. I remember that being like a very uh, scary moment as a kid. Um, get this flap. Come on. And same artwork as the DVD cover. All right. Next one we have here. We have Judgment Day 2003. Um, I like this cover. It's not so bad. And I believe this was the last pay-per-view... Um, before uh, Raw and SmackDown started hosting their exclusive pay-per-views. So, we have Brock Lesnar versus Big Show in a stretcher match. Uh, Fatal 4-Way for the Women's Championship. Trish Stratus, Jacqueline, Victoria, and Jazz. Triple H versus Kevin Nash for the World Heavyweight Championship. Mr. America versus Roddy Piper. Tori Wilson versus Sable in a bikini challenge. We had a battle royal for the Intercontinental Championship in which Christian won. And that was the last time we would see Christian with long hair. Fun fact there. Uh, Team Angle versus Eddie Guerrero and Tajiri in a ladder match. We had Scott Steiner and Test versus La Resistance. Um, and then we had a six-man tag team match. Chris Benoit, Rhino, and Spanky versus FBI and John Cena. As you can see, we have promos. We have Sunday Night Heat. Uh, post match, in, uh, post match interviews, uh, stretcher match between Andre the Giant and Killer Khan. I think that was a pretty nice exclusive right there. So, didn't realize how packed these DVDs were back in the day, which is extras. Nice DVD cover there. As you can see, Christian won the IC title. A little spoiler alert. All right, and then on to the next pay per view which actually came after Judgment Day, was Insurrection 2003. Uh, this was the last um, UK event that WWE hosted, and then they just stopped Aaron Rebellion and uh, Insurrection altogether. And obviously this one didn't have the matching spine, as you can see in the back. We had a street fight, Triple H versus Kevin Nash, Christian versus Booker T for the IC title, Van Damme and Kane versus La Resistance, Scott Steiner versus Test. We had a six-man tag. Uh, all three of the Dudley Boys versus Roddy Mack, Christopher Nowinski, and Theodore Long. And then we had Jazz versus Trish Stratus for the Women's Championship. And Rico versus Goldust. That's kind of a styling match right there. And this also comes with extras. All right. Next one we have here. Bad Blood, 2003. Originally, this was supposed to be the King of the Ring, but for some reason, they made it um, Bad Blood this year. As you can see, all the matches here in the back. We had the uh, Triple H versus Kevin Nash in the Hell in a Cell with Mick Foley as a special guest referee. Yeah. Open this up for you guys. Alright, next one we have here, Vengeance 2003. This was a very awesome pay-per-view. Uh, this is when we had the finals for the United States Championship Tournament between Chris Benoit and Eddie Guerrero. 
I believe this was the only time you actually had Undertaker versus John Cena in a pay-per-view match. Wouldn't see them in a pay-per-view match again until WrestleMania 34. APA Invitational. Uh, Brock Lesnar versus Big Show versus Kurt Angle for the WWE Championship. I thought that was a pretty good triple threat match. All right, guys. Got five more pay-per-views here. We have SummerSlam 2003 with the lovely Sable on the cover, or should I say Brock's wife. Uh, this was only the second Elimination Chamber match uh, for the World Heavyweight title. Triple H, Randy Orton, Chris Jericho, Goldberg, Shawn Michaels, and Kevin Nash. We had Kurt Angle versus Brock Lesnar for the WWE title. Rob Van Dam versus Kane. Undertaker versus A-Train. Shane McMahon versus Eric Bischoff. Um, Fatal 4-Way for the U.S. title. We had Rhino, Tajiri, Chris Benoit, and Eddie Guerrero. These do have the flaps. Some of these don't have the flaps for some reason. I'm not sure why. I kind of find it weird in a way. Uh, next one we have here, without this tipping over, and I'll let it tip. We have Unforgiven, 2003. Face Your Fear with Kane on the cover. We had Triple H versus Goldberg for the world title. We had JR and the King versus Coach and Al Snow. Shawn Michaels versus Randy Orton in a Legend versus Legend Killer match. Last man standing match, Shane McMahon and Kane. And uh, we open this up. I think this is the last one with a flap. All right, guys. Three more pay-per-views. We have No Mercy 2003. Brock Lesnar on the cover. As you can see, the match is in the back. This does come with DVDs, uh, extras. Something that I like here on the bottom here, it says, Catch Smackdown Thursday nights at 8 p.m. on UPN. Very old school. Um, does this come with flaps? No, it doesn't. Okay. I like that DVD artwork right there. Alright, guys. Last two. Survivor Series 2003. I actually enjoyed the Survivor Series. Uh, this would be the last uh, appearance of the biker or big evil Undertaker before he returned at WrestleMania 20 as the dead man. Uh, Goldberg versus Triple H for the world title. Uh, Stone Cold's team versus Bischoff's team. Uh, we had Team Angle versus Team Lesnar. We have 30 minutes of extras. Alright, and then we go on to the last DVD, guys. Armageddon 2003, The Evolution of the Game. This was the pay-per-view where every member of Evolution either retained a title or won a title. Um, in this case, they all won a title on this match, um, this pay-per-view. So we had Kane versus Goldberg versus Triple H for the World Heavyweight title. Shawn Michaels versus Batista. IC title match, RVD versus Randy Orton with Mick Foley as a special guest referee. Uh, Trish Stratus and Lita versus Chris Jericho and Christian in the Battle of the Sexes. And then we had a tag team turmoil match for the World Tag Team titles. And, whoops, there's the artwork there. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this set and this review. Be sure to hit that like button, leave your comments in the comment section down below, and subscribe. Especially if you're going to be watching my videos and you're not subscribed. What are you doing? Hit that button. And until next time, guys, Dan the Beast 94 signing off.